Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for interior designers and architects. If you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button to get my weekly tutorials on AutoCAD. In this video, I'll be talking about a problem with the hatch command in AutoCAD, where when you do the hatch, it's showing as solid. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the hatch command. And then from here, I'm gonna go up in the list and I'm gonna choose, for example, this hatch here, and I'm going to click inside the geometry and it looks like the hatch is solid and it's not showing up. And then here I'm going to close the hatch and let's say we do another one. I'm going to choose, uh, let's go down in the list and choose a different one. I'm going to choose this one and fill it in the circle and the same problem. It's not visible as well. And I'm going to just show one last example. Let's say we go down the list and we choose this one and I'm going to click here. And this one actually showed up proper, probably, uh, properly sorry, compared to the other two. Okay, so the problem often when you see a hat, when you do a hatch in AutoCAD and it shows up as solid, most likely the problem is that the hatch is very, very small or very, very big. So to fix that, just select the hatch by clicking on it. And then from here, when you do that, you will get this ribbon here on the top in AutoCAD and it says Hatch Editor. And it looks like just the same when you are creating the hatch. And then here in the property section over here, um, see this icon right or this button right here where it says hatch pattern scale. If you click on it and then modify the value from one to a, a bigger value, I'm going to use four here, for example, and click enter. And look now the hatch got bigger in scale and it became a little bit more visible. So I'm going to go back to scale and I'm going to choose 8, for example. And now this is much better. And I'm going to do the same on the hatch right here. I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to do the value of the scale, for example, 12. And here we go. Now this is proper, properly visible. Now, depending on your project size or your drawing size, you might have to go much bigger than the values that I showed you here. Or you might have to go much smaller. So... Uh, 8 and 12 the value I use to fix these two hatch patterns might not work for you so you want to try to either go much bigger or much smaller and that should fix the hatch pattern and you should see it properly in your drawing or project